Actress Wanted is a film that follows the story of a struggling actress who is hired by a lonely janitor to reenact memories of his dead wife. TNA fam, <laughs> the producer, how did you become a part of the film? Um, okay, well, I think we, I met the director at the film festival um, at his opening of the last film, which is Touch Jam, yeah. uh, and it won a lot of awards, and then, you know, we watched the film, we really liked it, I really liked it, and then I introduced myself, we connect afterwards, and then he said, hey, you know what, I'm working on a new script right now, so he sent us a script, and I said, oh, this is a very good script, it's, and I'm like, oh my god, this is a really good script, and it's, uh, what I liked about it is the fact that uh, it's not just a Vietnamese uh, story, right? It could have been uh, any 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 ethnic, right? Um, and that's the thing that we like. We want people to use, tell a story that kind of relate to us as a Vietnamese Americans, but also be able to tell a story that relate to everybody else. How did you become a part of the movie? Well, just like in the movie, I am also a struggling actress. Um, and going on auditions and especially with, I mean, this we auditioned like about four years ago. Four years ago, four years ago Hollywood was so different. Um, there was not a lot of representation and so my opportunities to audition were very limited. And lo and behold, I get this opportunity, they call me in to audition and then they called me back for another one and this is like super exciting and and then they casted me, the um, director and producer casted me and I got the opportunity to be the lead. <laughs> you know, it's crazy because I remember he came in to read for the callbacks and I was like, yeah, it wasn't weird at all. And then and then we read the script and well, it's getting a whole weird. different story. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Long, did you have to audition because I know your brother was a director, <laughs> or is it part of the contract? If you make a movie, I have to be in it. Well, uh, hello everyone. I'm in my brother, so I get to know the script uh, for a long time, and uh, it's very, uh, you know, lucky that he liked me enough to cast me. <laughs> I pride him a little bit, <laughs> take him some uh, foam, right. you know, but. Uh, you know, actually, Min wrote the script for like a big Hollywood, uh, Hollywood film. And uh, yeah, so uh, anyone out there, if you want to make this one to a big Hollywood version, please do. Yeah. No, this version needs to go to Hollywood. Right, right, right. Tới là lễ kỷ niệm đúng 30 năm ngày chúng tôi thành hôn. Tôi muốn mừng lễ này với vợ tôi. I want to know how you were able to portray someone where you felt sorry for him but was also haunting at the same time. That character is exactly me. So whatever he feel, I actually feel it. <laughs> you know the thing about being an actor is that you trust a script. Uh, and uh, when you trust a script, then it's only a matter of doing homework. And for me, you know, my homework is like, how do I make myself believe all the reason to do what, what do I do? So whatever I do for you, I'm sorry, but for me, I'm absolutely correct. And you are wrong, that's why I do it for you. I, speaking of believing, I was gonna ask you that question, like, as your character, what made you believe, okay, I wanna take this role, and how do you feel for him, even though everything around it sounded so fishy? Right. <laughs> Well, luckily, my character is a lot like me in a sense. She's very naive. She always believes in the good in people, right? And then also there's that desperation of, and pride of not wanting to borrow money from her mom and, again. So, I mean, I think that's why, even though there were red flags and her best friend, played by Isabel Du, always mentions it, she's blinded by that. And then she also sympathizes with this man who lost his wife and in a way my character wants to feel loved right she dreams about like meeting that special someone not him in particular but like who loves somebody as much as he loved his wife as as we we dream about that stuff so i think that's also why she doesn't realize all the fishiness that's going on walk away my you don't know who this guy is 
He's just lonely. But if you were his wife, wouldn't you want him to move on? You know, fall in love with another woman again? She's dead. Who cares what she thinks? Tien, I know your film actually premiered at the Viet Film Festival, won awards, Best Actor, Best Actress. I, I see why, but um, why do you think it's resonated so much with the audience? Yes, I think, uh, very great question, thank you. Um, I think that uh, when people watch the film, there are two things that I think they, they, they really resonate with. One is that they see the, uh, the Bosa, the little Saigon, uh, the way it is, you know, you know um, and you know, it's, it's, it's not in a, in a pretty light. You know, if you look at it, it's very dirty. It's, you, know, you see it in different ways, basically, right? And the second uh, thing that I think really relates to them is that we see, as a Vietnamese, it's important for us to be able to tell the stories in terms of like, you know, Vietnamese we will have more than just doctor, lawyers, and engineers. We do have crazy people. We have good-looking people. You know, we have great talented people. So that's the whole point of the movie. is about like you know, this is a different side. You know, this one look into the c culture, and these are the stories that actually do happening, and nobody talking about it, right? Um, and so a lot, of, a lot of feedback we got on that day is that, you know, there's no Vietnamese people that, that crazy, but it, actually they are, you know, <laughs> or, or no, there's no none, there's not a lot of struggling actresses in in, in you. In, in, uh, in Hollywood, but they are. There's a Vietnamese here, and Isabel Du is also an actress on the set, and they are. They, they play in the role that they're actually doing in real life. So in that sense, so I think um, the Vietnamese people are very important that, and they see it differently. And, and I think very important that they see the sites, you know, other locations, are very pretty for them. So. Actress Wanted was also released in Vietnam with the cast and crew attending the premiere. Oh um, wow! So I'm. I was actually born and raised in California, San Jose up north, and it, I hadn't been back to Vietnam since I was 16 years old. So to come back as an adult, um, the most touching thing for me to be back there is the fact that I still feel, I feel like it's home to me. It's my homeland still. Even though I wasn't born there, there's like this sense of connection that you have with the food, the people, the country itself, and then getting to come there as Okay, I don't want to say it, but like kind of like the star of a lead movie <laughs> and getting to do press. It was such an exciting and such an honor and humbling experience, and I really loved it. I can't wait to go back. <laughs> yeah, we had a great time, and uh, the Vietnamese audience are wonderful. And uh, after 30 years away from home or more, I come back home and it, it feels like yesterday. So I'm very happy that we get a chance to come back. I think, it, uh, yeah, we're very blessed, we're very honored to, to get the support from the distributor. Uh, Gax is one of the biggest uh, distributors in Vietnam, so they, they, they believe in the film. And if you watch the film, you know it's not a commercial film in that sense, right? Uh, so they took a risk on us, and, and, and they actually opened nationwide, which is a very big deal. Uh, I know, it's, it's, um, we were very surprised. Like, we were, and so we got a really good support over there, and I think we have the, uh, you know, the filmmakers, uh, our director have a really good relationship with the distributor, and also we have, uh, all of us have some a lot of filmic friends over there. And if you look at the Vietnamese industry, the film industry in Vietnam, there's a lot of expats coming back. So a lot of filmmakers are actually living here and they're coming back and doing that. So when we have films coming back, we got a lot of support. So in that sense, it's kind of like, you know, make us feel like, okay, so like, at least the story, not too bad. People are actually coming out and support it. Vui hay buồn gì thì kỷ niệm cũng là những gì chúng ta còn lại ở đoạn kết. Sài Gòn. <cười>